We're Gavin and Emily, and we're converting a 2009 international school bus into a tiny house on wheels. Over the past year, we've gutted the inside and made some pretty sweet exterior modifications. In our last episode, we started framing our furniture and unfortunately hit some snags with our wiring. This week, we're bringing you along while we install our walls. morning. Today we are working on our schoolie walls. So I just started measuring underneath the bed where we're going to be putting some plywood plant panels to cover up any of our insulation. We've got our to-do list. Make sure we don't miss anything. I think it's going to be a productive day. So let's get to work. So the plan is to cut plywood sheets that will come up to the height of our mattress, which will be right about here. So our plywood sheets panels will come up to here. So we're going to have to black out these areas of the windows that will be behind any plywood and then we'll put some insulation and plywood in front of it so it's nice and insulated and covered safely. We're also going to back black out this bottom window of our back door so that no one can see into our garage space and that is the plan for the bed area. A tip I found when doing window deletes like this where you paint over the window is to just do a light fog layer of paint first. Uh, that helps the paint have something to grip onto and will just give you better coverage. So I'm not just a really bad painter. This is on purpose. But we're also out of paint. So we gotta go get more. <laughs> Now what? <laughs> Should have brought the bus. No, I really thought it would fit. <laughs> Good thing insulation's easy to trim. Oh no, I told you it would break on those lines perfectly. <laughs> it always breaks vertically, there you go. I don't know why my dad's keys are so bad for cutting things. <laughs> Woo! Now we can go home. Perfect. All right, we've got our windows totally blacked out. We just put in our foam board. We got the one and a half inch foam board so it fits perfectly in to our furring strips on our windows. Ooh, it's a little bright. So we did that for everywhere in the kitchen area and then the bed at our feet and at our head. So that'll be kind of, you know, the footboard headboard and then that will be our kitchen backsplash. So now it's just time to put our cut wall pieces up and screw them in. Got our two best minds on measuring duty. It's <laughs> very helpful. How's it going, Charlie? If it doesn't fit 
one way, flip it upside down. Then it fits perfectly. Does it fit? No. No. Oh. <laughs> but a boy can dream. All right, well, try it on the other side. <laughs> Does it fit? It's enough. Cool. <laughs> oh my gosh, your screws are so much better than mine. <sighs> Good morning, if you've been following along with us, you've seen how some of our wires were frayed in the spray foaming process as it was being cleaned up. So before we cover up our walls, we're gonna have to fix some of those. So on some of them where only the insulation was pulled off of the wires, we have some heat shrink tubing that we're gonna wrap around and use our heat gun to shrink around and that'll just basically re-insulate the wire. On this one, where the actual copper wiring itself is kind of frayed and falling apart, we're going to have to put a new piece of wire in, so we're going to cut that section out and use butt connectors to put basically a new piece of wire in where that one is, and then we'll seal that on both ends and it'll be like a whole new wire. And so we'll just kind of keep track of where that is in our wall if anything ever goes wrong with our electricity for that specific area goes to one of the lights in the back, then we'll know where we need to go into to see if one of our connections failed. Voiceover Emily here to talk about butt connectors. So the first step is to be going to be to cut out your damaged section of wire. Next, you can use a wire stripper to expose the copper stranding inside your wire. You're gonna strip off the insulation about a quarter inch or so down your wire. That'll leave you with these copper strands You'll want to give them a little bit of a twist just to tie all the strands together so that you don't have any sticking out. And then you can take your butt connector, make sure you are using the proper size connector for the size of wire that you have, and you can crimp that connector right onto your exposed copper strands. So you'll crimp it on and then you want to give it a little bit of a tug to make sure that that connection's nice and tight. Next, you can cut a new piece of wire to size and then you're going to do the exact same thing with the ends of this wire. So strip off the insulation, give the copper strands a little bit of a twist, and then slide them right into your other end of your butt connectors. So it slides right into the metal bit of the connector, and then you'll crimp that metal bit right onto the copper strands. And again, give a little tug to make sure you are secure. Lastly, you can use a heat gun to shrink wrap that plastic around the connection to seal it all in. And of course, the final step is to show off your work. Be proud of it. Looks pretty good. Nice job, Gavin. Okay, so we've cut a piece of plywood to be the wall paneling on this side. We cut a big hole to put through some of our wires that will be going to our batteries from various outlets and lights. We cut a hole for our other outlet box there and the 12 volt outlet that will also be there. And so now we're just lining it up. We're going to pop a few screws in because we'll maybe need to pop it off in order to connect some of the outlet stuff later. But for now we have a wall. And it's just the thin plywood because it's not going to hold anything structurally. We're going to connect any of our couch you know, connections yeah, to the actual made, furring strips. We have our strips in there of thicker wood to connect to, so. Wow. Wow. And we're gonna paint it, so. Ignore what it looks like. A rich burgundy. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that is most of our wall frame pieces cut out and fixed. This one we just haven't attached yet because we are going to talk to a mechanic about what we're doing with these pipes and we can't really rest it against there until those are out of the way. Next week we are going to start framing our couch and closet hopefully and start building out our battery bank and where all of our electrical components are going to be. So make sure you're subscribed and you don't miss it. See you soon. Thanks Bye. for watching. Love you. Love you.